Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to Stars with Stasi. where no matter who or what you are on this cosmic journey, you are welcome here. Greetings, I'm Stasi, your trusted psychic and intuitive reader. This is a mid-September reading for my lovely water sign Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross watchers are always welcome. Please keep in mind that these are general messages, may not resonate with everyone, so take what is for you and leave the rest for someone else. If you are new to my channel, Welcome. I do run a contest each month on my platform Instagram, on my Instagram platform, and also here on the community tab for your opportunity to win a free reading each month. The rules are listed under the contest and the contests are pinned on each page. And to my returning subscribers and members, thank you for your support and welcome back. All right, guys, one moment while I tap into my spirit guides and I will get your highest and best messages. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides, interdimensional beings overseeing this act of divination for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please give me the highest and best messages, spirit. Thank you. All right, guys, we've got a lot of transitioning happening this month. We've got the new moon in Virgo here. This is being recorded on the 13th. New moon happening on the 14th, 15th, depending on where you are. All right, Cancer, what do we have here? The farther gate, a bold step forward, you and the, all the water signs, number 55, you can expect changes, trust in that. Between now and mid-October, there's a refinement period where you are really going to be asked to take a bold step and a leap of faith, that is for sure. And um, the, <clears throat> Uranus is in your 11th house of communication, friendships, things like that. So you can expect there to be maybe, you know, something different. Um, you might also be coming into a group of new friends as well. Winter's dream, gestation, gestation period, number 63, which reduces to the number nine. So this is all about having been, I'm, I'm picking up like the hermit card from the regular deck, Virgo energy going inward, really examining who you are today. What what do you like? What are the changes that you've recently made? And that's been a theme for all of the water signs, especially since last October. We have number 42, netcaster, preparations come to fruition. So Cancer, because of the amount of emotion that you carry deep within, you're very good at manifesting because thoughts become things. So Spirit's reminding me, Thank you, Spirit. I'm looking at number 42, but they're showing me the second week of April is what they're saying. The seeds that were planted, meaning what the, what you were thinking about, what you were desiring back in April, the things that you knew in your life needed more attention, those intentions that you, <clears throat> the intentions that you put out into the universe back in April are coming to fruition starting now through mid-October. Because the new moon cycle is six months from planting to harvest, right? So now things are definitely coming to that boiling point and they're going to be in your favor. So let's take a look using a nine card spread, bottom of the deck, king of pentacles. This is a card of convention, tradition, also um, very much into the money and investments. So I'm picking up that a lot of you are making decisions when it comes to your money this month and the in, in this last half of the month specifically. And some of it may be to take a bold step towards the end. There may be a, um, an investment opportunity. The Hanged Man, looking at something with a new perspective. Number 12. Number 12 reduces to the number 3, right? Another card. I'm sorry. Let me slow down a little bit. Number 3. Doing it better together. Co-collaborating. Creating. Working within your community. Which is also you're going to get a zap of that as we um, get to the end of the month because of the Uranus energy in your 11th house of communication, friendships, and also refinement uh, of your goals, future goals. Um, let's see. Aspirations. Some of you may become more active in the community through um, social activism. Queen of Swords, this is the energy of cutting someone off, cutting off the things that don't serve you. I'm, I'm hearing also that you might be a little bit more tested in this last half of the month in your communication with someone. Okay, Seven of Pentacles is the juice worth the squeeze. This is where we are all being tested, Cancer. We're at that point because all of this work that I've been putting into my job, my family, you know, um, my household in general, is this going to yield what I want? And that's actually what the planets are set up 
to, to have you in that energy of questioning so that you can be intentional and really finish deleting, so to speak, those things that don't serve you. We've got the Hierophant coming in with the star card as your central position, which is great. And the page of wands. Let's see. Three of pentacles, another card of community here, 10 of wands and Scorpio energy at the end with the death card. Hmm. All right. So let's take a look at this. Because I saw the king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. What do we have here? As I say that, the nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, there is change coming for you when it, in terms of, I'm, I'm sensing investments, your money. Some of you may be pivoting and actually considering either an additional job or um, uh, this is what I'm picking up. Either some of you are looking to add on a job for extra income, like another stream of, of income. But I think what might be happening for the majority of you is that you start, you know, leaning into, well, maybe I do want to start my own business or maybe I do want to see what that's about. And on the side, you know, because cancer, you're very reserved. So, oh, and as she falls over. All right, we'll leave her there. <laughs> my little queen of wands. Um, cancer, you're very reserved, which just had her pass out. So that being said, um, there could be an opportunity here for you to lean in your creative and actually do a lot better than you suspected to begin with, right? <clears throat> it's almost like I'm sensing that in the very near future, you are going to find yourself around people that like what you like and that are available to do things with you that are things that you don't normally get a chance to do. It's almost like you're rediscovering who you are. And that's been the theme for the majority of this year for the water signs, but Cancer, you especially, because you are such a nurturer and always giving of others and to others, you often have put yourself in the back seat. And so, you know, almost always quiet, not speaking enough or aloud. Um, and spirit wants you to get out of that energy and really get yourself prepared to be active in your own script. Like instead of allowing other people to influence your day to day so much because you are caring for them and of them, I'm hearing it's time to be more active and start doing for you. We've got the three of pentacles, the nine of wands and the death card. Transformation. <clears throat> you can believe that there are going to be changes and I suspect that here in this last half of the month, you're going to be coming into some information more or less about yourself, right? I think you're going to learn something new about yourself with this full moon in Aries. And it's good. You're, going to, you're going to get a newfound confidence in doing something. It might be that you go to, some of you might be attending a, um, a class of some sort, an empowerment class is what I'm hearing. Um, you know, some of you may be in that energy of like, learning either self-defense, you know, something that empowers you. Um, I'm even picking up that some of you have a photo shoot scheduled, which is great because Venus went direct on September 4th. So you may be feeling that energy of wanting to be, you know, stepping into your main character energy, your attractiveness, your seductiveness. And that's true even if you lean to your masculine, right? That is absolutely true. I see you finding... Um, a common bond, which is something I feel cancer that you haven't had in some time, but I do see you finding a new found um, friendship and community with others. <clears throat> and, and spirits telling me that it's something that you're going to enjoy a lot of, and that's going to allow you some healing actually is what's picking up. And as I say that three of cups at the bottom of the deck, three of cups is all about friendship and celebration leaning into the feminine energies in your group, whether it be family, friends, or your work environment. This is all about celebration and coming into right relationship with the other, you know, feminine energies. That's great. All right, one second. What else do we have to clarify this spirit for cancer? Five of pentacles feeling a little bit left out in the past. So like, I feel like in the beginning of the month, you feel like you didn't get, to do all the things that you had hoped for. And I've got the nine of wands clarifying the king of swords, queen of swords rather. Yeah, I'm picking up that you have been making a lot of changes. That's what I'm that's what I'm hearing. Like a little bit exhausted cancer, like man, I've been putting up changes and I'm tired and I don't feel like fighting anymore. That's how it's coming across. 
And <clears throat> I have you here, you are clarifying your own, um, like, is this, is this all worth it? But Cancer Spirit saying, hang in there because this is just part of your transition time. And it's, it's, it's actually purposely and divinely placed in your path to work for you, not against you. Spirit just keeps saying that you often do what other people want just to make it go easy. You're always the strong one, the responsible one, the one that takes care of everything and everyone. And I see another nine here. You've got a lot of endings. We have nine of swords. I'm sorry, we've got nine of wands twice on your deck. And that's just feeling exhaustion, wounded warrior energy. And then I have here nine of cups, independence. There are a select few of you, take this how it resonates, that are going through a divorce because I do see the nine of cups over the Hierophant. And to me, that tells me this is more like singleton and, and you know, um, a freedom of it. Or if that's not the case, some of you are rethinking how you see religion, how you see spirituality, right? But there is some sort of freedom here that I'm sensing for you, Cancer, that has to do with, with something very deep. So it's either in this deck, I read this, Spirit and I have this agreement, that this is going to be a card that represents like a marriage sometimes, something like the Four of Wands, but this is more about the institution of it itself versus the community of it. <clears throat> um, you know, this is like a, um, a religious person, a figure, but it comes through as marriage. So some of you may be rethinking your marriage. Um, and... Others of you are finding yourself in, in an energy of exploring your spirituality and pivoting maybe, right? And that's also divinely guided. So the central card is the star card. At, oh, thank you, spirit. As I was going to say, a card of healing and balance because she is. You can see her nude on one knee with the waters, healing, praying, wishing. She is the star. She is reaching into that cosmic energy and knowing that she is stars from the sky with feet on the ground. And she's using her magic, right? She's bold. She's nude. She is unafraid. She is main character energy. And there is nothing you can tell her because she already knows that she's getting what it is that she truly desires. Number 17 reduces to the number eight. Eight is all about your abundance, your money, your magic. What you think about is what you bring about. And <clears throat> as I say that with this card of healing and the Lemna Scott, the eight, right? The energy flowing, the ebb and flow of your manifestations. Temperance card, another card of healing. This card also has the balance, the Lemna Scott. So, you know, you are being divinely guided. There is going to be, there are going to be changes here for you. I suspect that by the time March rolls around, March and April, you're going to be more settled into what it is that you need to do next. As I speak that into existence, <laughs> number 21, the world card, that's the completion of a cycle. And we've got the page of wands. This is about taking action. Some of you may be taking a new course of study <clears throat> in the next few months and getting into a new, um, and I don't know that it's completely new for you, Cancer. I'm feeling like, let's just say in the past, here we go. I'm just going to use this as an example. Let's say in the past, in your prior life, you've always been one who liked to garden and you loved plants, but maybe you never had the time or the money to study and become an herbalist. Or maybe you never had the time to sit there in nature enough because of where you lived. Spirit saying that all of those things are about to change. The things that you truly desire as a as an energetic being inside of this corporeal meat suit, right, is going to start to become more and more available, not just for you, but for the masses. So with the new technology and the new abilities that people are going to have and already do, depending on how fortunate you are to be connected in the tech world, right, there is different types of realities available, virtual reality, augmented reality, and we're moving from a universe perspective to a multiverse perspective where instead of competition, it becomes a world or worlds of curiosity and exploration. With that said, you really are going to have the ability to be everywhere all at once. So it's time to pivot and think larger, right? It's hard to grasp what you cannot begin to envision, but 
if you can lean into the idea that there was a time within some of our lifetimes where there were no cell phones or pagers or internet, and yet we somehow made it here, and if you look back, you couldn't have imagined that this would be the case, that we could communicate in this way, imagine it's going to happen all over again. So prepare yourself to release control of the things that you are so worried about today. Also, keep in mind that the solutions that you are crafting for your problems, perceptions today, really will not be of value in the future because they will be outdated. So be adaptable and know that the universe is working in your favor, not against you. They're saying to, um, give me one moment. Yeah, they're, they're showing me the 555 five, five again. They're showing me um, <clears throat> the, the bold step forward just to release control, which is actually cancer. They're saying that that is your, specifically for cancers, that releasing control is your um, biggest hurdle to overcome in the next few months between now and March. One moment. All right, so three of pentacles. And I see the Ace of Cups, and this is going back to those of you that are considering um, leaving a marriage potentially or are in the process of leaving a marriage. I'm sensing that in your community, when you re-engage, that's where you're going to find new friendships, new love. And if you are in a partnership, I'm sensing that you are going to find and rediscover parts of yourself that make you feel more independent from your partner, but not away from your partner. In other words, as you get your mojo back, as you start rediscovering who and what you are, and you start making plans that make you happy, whether or not your partner joins you doesn't become um, a thing of, it doesn't become a thing of friction. It becomes like your partner does what they want to do in a happy, healthy way that supports their value. And maybe you do something different and that's totally okay. And then you guys come together and have a newfound excitement of things to discuss and paths ahead, right? And for those of you that are single or those of you that are about to be single, again, finding people in your community is really going to be the segue to complete happiness for you and releasing that control. Because you're going to start to see by changing up your algorithm, right, by switching up the company that you keep, you're going to see and be more curious about what's out there to explore. The Chariot card and the Knight of Swords. Fascinating. Okay, so <clears throat> the speed bumps that are happening in the next several months are all divinely guided. And things are going to happen very quickly. They're just saying be adaptable. There's going to be pivoting in terms of your money and pivoting in terms of your relationships. And I'm seeing here online communication as well. A lot of swift action being taken place and a lot of new ideas. This is coming through as incoming swift technology. One moment. I actually saw a tornado just now. Thank you, Spirit. And that's what they're, they're saying to me. People have got to get prepared. You can't begin to imagine how quickly this is going to swoop. So the best course of action would be to start asking yourself, what is it that you truly desire? What do you like to do? Who do you like to be around? What types of things bring your vibration up? And how can you get yourself involved in the community where it doesn't deplete you, right? Like if you're always somebody who's like a healer, an energy worker, and you're always out there giving of yourself, they're saying balance, right? You see the two, it's like two pen, it's, this is almost like the spiritual, like the high level two of pentacles. This is spirit asking you to balance in your desires and obligation, what it is that you want, what, who it is that you are now, because cancer, you're older, wiser, stronger. And there are parts of you that you've had to put in the back seat, right? The back burner, rather, while you tend and mend to everybody and everything else. And now that you have and are going to have more time, believe it or not, all of us are going to have more time. The, the, the script of working 80 hours a week for 40 hours a week pay, that's going away. There are multiple streams of income available to all of us. And the truth is that it's a program to make you believe that that's not the case, to make it seem difficult. And that's actually going to be, um, the truth will be revealed about that. More to come. As I look, they want me to clarify. Give me one second from here. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Tell me more about 
Um, the relationships, please. We have Uranus energy. The Hermit card. That's what I was saying, right? I said, we, <laughs> okay. So the nine of, just the nine, Hermit, Virgo energy. This is go having gone inward and being more to yourself, more reserved. Spirit saying it's time to get out of that energy. Some of you may be dealing in English. Pardon. Some of you may be dealing with a Leo. Here you go. That came up in the um, the reading for the September reading in general. So this is your mid month check in, and I remember Cancer that I had said at that point that some of you were dealing with a Leo. With a Leo, it could be a spouse or someone in your family because these cards come up together. And then I see Hermit energy here. So this is Virgo season. So let's take a look here what Spirit's saying in regards to this, and it could be a fire sign. Take it how it resonates. One second. This is coming through. Oh, geez. Okay. Hold on, guys. I have some jumpers. Let's clarify. Is that it? Come here, girl. Lo siento. All right. So in terms of this fire sign, potentially for some of you, we've got the Knight of Cups, Page of Wands, and Seven of Cups. That's a lot of options. Communication. Let me see here. Knight of Cups. Hmm. All right. One second. Let's see. Three of Swords, bottom of the deck, heartbreak, third party energy. Because um, at first, this is what I, at first I got this as like an apology. Like, um, I feel like maybe there might be some words between yourself and a Leo. And again, guys, take this how this resonates, but I have to say it because it's been coming through this way. When I said in the beginning that some of you are reevaluating your relationships, if you are involved with a Leo, that's actually coming through this way. So you're going to have options, different ways to handle things. Um, you might come across some information or you might have an argument or something is what I'm sensing, like um, a mismatch of words because this is coming up. And I feel like also there's an apology to ensue with that as well or a water sign. If, if you're dealing with third party energy, it could be you know, a Leo and another water sign, potentially one second Knight of wands. This is like player energy. So there is something going on where the, the other party may just be thinking more about themselves. Guys, I got it. I'm sorry. I got to say this, how it goes. The world card came up again. So if you, if this is resonating for you and you are exiting a relationship or marriage, some type of commitment, or you're considering, or you feel that something's going on against you, someone's not being as honest as you would like them to be or transparent, you are not wrong. Okay, so the shadow side comes up and this is um, devil energy in the regular major arcana. So this is the witch's tarot. And so when this comes up, this actually is pointing to addiction, depression, um, and the negative vibration, it is really all of the things like um, anger, upset, depression. And it could be that somebody's in their head about something. Also, I'm hearing that as we approach, um, for depending on where you live, for those of you that are going to be losing daylight as a result, I'm hearing that some of you may be experiencing disruption in your household as those shifts takes place. And that the partner might become um, silent is what I'm hearing. One moment. What else? Wow. Okay. So as I was talking about the... One second. Yeah, guys. Listen, I take it how it resonates. So I've got the death card showing up with the four of pentacles. When these two cards come in together, this tells me transformation in the home. Transformation at home. So, and, and keeping things close to you. And this is the magician. This is you being in control and taking, taking action. Like I feel cancer very strongly that you're going to ask, not even ask, that you're putting up some serious boundaries because you, two of pentacles, you want more balance. And I want you guys to look at this. There's very few cards in the entire tarot that have a lemniscot or as you want to call it, like the sideways eight. All right. So when it continues to show up, it means that you are manifesting, you are in control, you're bringing about what you think about, create balance in your life. Back to back, this is the magician. This is the first card after the fool starts his journey. And this is where you pick up all your tools, right? To live your life, 
It's just because we're meant to forget everything. Maybe you don't know what to do with your tools, but everything you need, you already have within you, Cancer. And here you've got the Two of Pentacles, a card of balance. And also, if you look, there's the Eight, which is the Lemniscot. That's all it is. And a Lemniscot truly is co the cosmic womb on one side, feeding all of the information through the eye of the needle because there are endless possibilities. And on the other side, you birth the new thing. So if you're having concerns about how your household is going or what it is that's going on under your roof, I mean, lean into your intuition because Spirit's saying that you already know. You already know what you need to do next. It's about taking action and having enough confidence in yourself to know that you can do anything on your own and survive and thrive. Page of Cups. This is maybe a younger water sign energy. It could be um, either you're starting to look at things with a new perspective and a new desire or it could be that you are dealing with a child, a younger water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, somebody that you mentor. One second. It could be a child, a nephew, niece. All right, Eight of Wands, a card of taking action and moving forward. Some of you might be thinking about moving or you might be traveling to see a child. I, I don't know, maybe going on vacation or something. Let's look at that. Three of Cups. I'm sorry, Three of Pentacles. Another card of community, doing it better together, traveling. Hmm, one moment. Temperance, healing again, balancing. Cancer, you've been getting this for a millennia now, all about balancing. That's what I keep hearing, that you are giving too much of yourself. You need to take a break. And you need to slow down and figure out what you're trying to do from now on. There are major changes coming. And, and it, you know, for those of you that are exiting a relationship, it's, it's yes, it's a major change. But this is to your benefit. Look around you. All the fixed signs, right? The Aquarius, Leo, um, Cancer. I'm sorry, Scorpio and Aquarius. Leo, Libra. I, I don't know. I messed it all up. <laughs> Guys, I've been reading cards all day. Just hang tight. <clears throat> the four fixed signs have already gone through it right? Taurus is the one I was missing. And now you can expect to experience changes. It doesn't mean that your life is falling apart, but it does mean that you have to lean into the idea that if it stops being available to you, it's because it's not vibrationally, vibrationally aligned for you any longer. And <clears throat> just like the star card where it was one foot in the water, one foot on the ground, temperance is that way as well. Right. And it's just about finding that balance between who and what you are and who and what you were and allowing um, change to occur. King of Wands shows up again. This is that Leo energy. So this is a player energy, somebody who's more into themselves and their needs and desires. And if that doesn't work for you any longer, you need to say as much and start taking action. One moment. Anything else, Spirit? these two. Thank you. All right, guys, eight of cups shows up with the king of swords. Absolutely. Okay. So this is again, echoing. If you are considering leaving a relationship or making changes of any kind, even if it's at work. Okay. Cause a relationship doesn't have to be necessarily romantic. So guys, if you are at work and dealing with a, a fire sign boss, it, it could be an uncle. It could be a number of things. Just think of a more dominant energy, meaning like someone that you're around more often than not, that is a fire sign, potentially a Leo that is, I don't know, leaving you in a position that you're reevaluating if you want to continue something with that person. So it might not be that you're in the worst case scenario by any means, but you're not living the life that you want. So eight of cups is about Remember the star card where that's number 17 reducing to the eight and it's about like wishing upon a star. Well, this right here is the eight, eight of cups. And you can see that she is looking up at the stars and wanting more and says, you know what? I'm going to go get more. I've got eight cups here, but I'm going to get what I want. I'm going to get more because I deserve more. And the king of swords comes in and this always comes to me as a professional, like an attorney, an air sign, um, being methodical, making changes, crafting something. So some of you may be in the energy of having to hire someone to get to the next thing. So if you're making a pivot in business, you may want to hire someone um, that can help you, um, you know, <clears throat> figure out 
what you need to get what you want, right? Basically, whether or if you are leaving a relationship and you're in a marriage, you may want to hire an attorney. Like, get get the help that you need to get where you want is the point. All right, guys. Let's see. Anything else for the next two weeks? They want me just to pull two more from here, I think. One second. Anything else that you want to tell Cancer? Oops. All right, perfect. Wow. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Guys, I hesitate sometimes in saying things. I don't want to come off as negative or anything, but look, they're showing me very clearly these are some amazing cards because look, the Hermit, is about you taking time to really reevaluate. This is that last of the Virgo energy. On September 23rd, we head into Libra energy where we are going to find our balance. We are going to see a lot of justice taking place globally and otherwise at home. There may be something that happens on the mass, like out there that, because uh, look, as within, so without. So let's just say something happens in the media that puts attention on the rise of the divine feminine, right? Or some type of injustice. And then you speak about it at home, that might be a catalyst for a conversation needing to be had, for example. So the Hermit card is that Virgo energy, really just kind of asking you to get your affairs in order and start start figuring out what you want. Because this is the Two of Cups. This is um, your soulmate energy, your partner. And then we have the Star card, wishing, wanting, having something new. And then we've got the full card starting over. So if you are redefining your marriage versus leaving it or redefining your relationship, this is a time that if you were very clear about your intentions and desires, you may very well get what you want. But remember, what you want is going to require change in one form or fashion or another. So you need to be adaptable. If your partner, you can't, you can't change someone, right? You can only change yourself, refine yourself and your desires. When something doesn't align for you, it's not because it's you or them. It's neutral. It's vibrational. And when we get to that part of the 5D experience, the emotions attached to evolving will be a thing of the past. You know, it's just neutral. It just is. We're energetic beings and we're meant to have a multitude of experiences. So when something falls out of fashion with you, it's because it's not vibrationally aligned with you and for you any longer. So the love that you seek seeks you. You have more options than you are aware of. Seven of Cups. The universe is vast. Do not settle for anyone or anything that isn't bringing you up and supporting you as you rise, right? If you need to be more clear in your partnerships, then do so. Because again, Uranus energy is in your 11th house of communication, friendships, community, aspirations, activism. You have an opportunity to speak your desires and your truth and have them come into manifest form, but you have to be willing to let the change occur. So in terms of angel guidance and support, because we do have a full moon in Aries at the end of this month, which is going to give you the confidence and the power you need to take that bold step forward. Thank you, Spirit. This bold step forward here, you can expect that you're going to have your balls about you, for lack of better word. That's how they're showing me by the 29th, 28th with that full moon in Aries. And they're saying that speak your truth. I, I keep telling you guys that stop. Like you need to let your throat chakra, let it out. Live your joy. Thank you, angels, for supporting me as I follow my joy. That's all they want you to do. They want you to be honest with yourself. What do you like? And so many of us go, I don't know, actually. I do for this one and for that one. That's great. They can do for themselves. Give everyone in your life the dignity to fall flat on their faces or not, right? You've been in their life this long. They're going to do just fine. And if they don't, that's okay. It's their lesson to learn. So, Allow yourself to rediscover the joy of what it is to be you, Cancer. I think this is going to go well for you. You're going to have to hold on to your seats, sit with all the changes, just rediscover who you are, and reclaim your power in your house, in your job, everywhere that you go. You are main character energy, and there isn't a thing you can't do. If you feel deeply that someone is working against you, the cards are saying that you are correct. And Cancer, you always are. You always know what's going on around you. So be unafraid to take a step forward and claim your desires and speak what boundaries you expect to be followed. And whoever can't meet you where you are doesn't need to be with you. 
So, you know, and again, this is a great time to redefine, re-enliven partnerships that are already existing. This does not mean the end of something, but it means the end of the way something was, right? There's time here to make something work for everyone. All right, guys, thank you so, so much. Please remember to share, like, subscribe, leave comments. Let me know how this resonates. It does help my channel grow. And may the truth of all matters bring healing to you. All right, guys, remember, we're just stars from the sky with feet on the ground. So may the magic that we weave and the words that we speak bring healing to all those who seek it, Cancer. And until next time, shine brightly.